Mel's, wow, what went on this afternoon? I don't really know myself, to be honest. Um, I think maybe it was a bit of luck and everything went right, but I think, you know, seeing we would look at times, I think we worked really hard today and we got, you know, in the end, we got the rewards for, for how hard we worked and we stuck at it and, you know, kept going and, you know, it's a lot, a lot better day than what it's been all season. Obviously, coming into the game, this was a side that, you know, we're in the playoffs. What kind of test were you expecting? Um, very good footballing team. I think we said before they're probably one of the best teams, I would say, in the league. I'm seeing that at home and we kept them out of it, you know. We've got a draw in the end and you know, came in the game a bit of freedom because, you know, there's nothing to lose for us, there's no pressure. And obviously, we just had to work hard, you know, stop all their attacks and took our chances when we got them, which is nice. What was the gaffer's message just before you came out for the first half? Um, like I say, it was the freedom. Um, there's no pressure, you know, I to stick together as a group, work hard. You know, individually set the mate to just, you know, do, kind of do my own thing with me crazy running and that's what I tried a bit to sort of get around the pitch cause a bit of chaos and work in the end. What did you make of the contest in the first half before we got that goal? Very tough, I think, you know, we had to ride out a bit. They got some very good players, play some good balls, they're sharp. Um, but like I say, it was about sort of riding it out and then, you know, catch them on the counter a bit or, you know, when we get a chance, we've got to take it. Let's touch on your, your first goal of three. Talk me through that one. Um, well, i just seen Gibble go down line. And I think I've had that combination with him a few times where he cuts it back and I've seen everyone running. So towards the goal, so I stepped off a little bit and luckily it's fell on my head. Run away and give a bit of stick to them. Massive impact from Gibbo as well, wasn't it? Because he had only just come on not that not that long prior. Yeah, yeah definitely. Um, I like playing with You know, he gets on it, he makes things happen. He's that sort of player when he can do something from nothing. And I think you've seen that today. He was, he was on it, he was turning, he was getting at them and you know, put some um, deadly balls in and luckily fell on my head and I put it in. A few unhappy faces in that end over there when you were celebrating right in front of them. Yeah, definitely. I was seeing, um, I think it was before the corner, they are giving a bit of stick because I was around there keeping on getting a few bad shouts off them, so it was perfect timing for that ball to come in and, I say, run over and give them a bit back. Obviously, we went into the break 1-0 up. What was the message? I think it was to keep going. Like Gaffer said, forget the scoreline. You know, we've worked very well and so I've got to keep that going as, as a unit and, you know, ride it out and sort of, like, defend for our lives. Obviously, we scored a lot of goals and I think we did that. I think the back four very good today but as a team we defended and as, as, as a team you know we took our chances we got four and I think we had plenty of shots ourselves. I think regardless of what was said at half time we always knew it was going to be a tough second half didn't we the, the position they are in the league the attackers have got. Yeah definitely they're a very good side I think we said the one we'd say sort of the best side in the league and we knew how hard it was going to be and I think we've been better at the minute at sort of taking the lead but we haven't obviously kept on to that so it was nice today to finally sit out and win again. Quite the start of the second half as well. Yeah, definitely. It's just I think I took one shot and it's landed again. I saw sort of foot through it and see what happens. And same with the third one, so it was nice. That third one, I'll be honest, I was down in that corner, the sun was in my eyes, didn't see what went on. I hope the camera caught it. Talk me through that one. Um, I think it was a couple of headers in the box and it sort of just landed. I was knackered and I thought, just swing my left foot at it. So what, what I like to do is put my foot through it and luckily it's a nice connection to come off and I was away. <laughs> Like you said, you were away. There was some serious celebrations down that end of the ground as well. Yeah, that was nice. So along that, back of that goal, past their fans, our fans. But that's what it's all about, you know, celebrating as a team and enjoying it. Soon after you got your third, they got one back. How were you feeling in that moment? Um, maybe it's a little nervy because obviously what happened last week. But I think done well to stick together. I think yeah, they got that goal back. But I think you've seen a, a massive difference from last week. We've actually seen how we've got a bit of luck at times, but I think you know due that luck and we made that luck because how hard we worked and in the end we've seen out and done very well. Let's speak on Georgie Kelly briefly. He's obviously been here a while now and for him to get on in a game like this, what an experience for him. Yeah, I think it was massive having him and bring someone like him on with that size, being able to hold the ball up, work hard. I think he's seen it straight away and you know it's kind of wait to see him play him on and you know, I'm sure he had a lot. Finally, them fans in that corner today, unbelievable once again. Yeah, very loud, it was nice, they always, always travelling their numbers and this is what it's about, days like this, winning and you know, making it worth it and celebrating with them. Obviously there's a quick turnaround now going into Monday's game against Lincoln, how much of a boost does that give you all? Oh massive, we take confidence from it and hopefully like I say, we're playing with a little bit more freedom, there's no pressure on us so we're going again against Lincoln, they're another very good side in form I think, so you know, if we can do that again, who knows and maybe score for back-to-back -back wins but like I say, we've just got to take it as it comes and enjoy it. What would be your message to the fans of Brunton Park going into that one? Just bring the numbers again and keep supporting like they've done today and all season and you know, hopefully we can prepare them and get a win. Well done today, thanks for your time. Cheers, thank you.